Where are we going today? We're going to uh, Animal Kingdom. We're going to Animal Kingdom. Don't sound too excited about it back there, does he? I'm he doesn't tired. sound excited about anything. He's a nihilist. Yeah. <laughs> what are nihilists excited about? We're going to Disney, guys. So, yeah, we're gonna go to Animal Kingdom, which I've never been to before, and Chase has never been to before. None of us have. You've been to? You've never been to Animal Kingdom? No, Animal Kingdom didn't even. Well, it's been around, but uh, I've been to the Magic Kingdom. Mm, last, I think I figured said it's the Magic Kingdom. The last thing I've been to is Epcot, and it was. Now, if you don't count my daughter's prom, that was quite a while ago. Awesome. So, we'll see what's to see at Animal Kingdom. Let's check it out. It's the Tree of Life. That is so cool. It's really, really cool. I've heard about that forever. Let's get a picture up here, guys. And we are going to Africa. Look at those giant gates. My mother. I think I saw something interesting back there. What? There are some silver objects on a counter. It might have been an exotic coin. An exotic coin? I don't know. It was a silver round object. Hold on, hun. Do you want to go back and investigate? Yeah. It was already on a counter, so it'll, it'll well, take... take that Dead, follow me. Okay. We're going to over here. Yes. Crying children. Nine o'clock in the morning. What's Disney like? It's like children's sadness and money. That's what Disney's like. Okay, I'll be back in a while, babe. Where something might be hiding. We're start looking over to the right. <clears throat> back behind the bush over there, there's an old copy. Now you may notice the old copy has striped legs that would remind you of a zebra. But they're actually the only living relative of a giraffe. They have a very similar head shape and a pretty long tongue as well. There's the old copy back there. Well, let's make our way down towards the watering hole, see if we can find anything else down here. Now, as we're coming around, look up the hill to the right. Looks like there's a greater kudu up there. Greater kudu, the second tallest species of antelope, and that looks to be a female up there. We can tell it because, well, she doesn't have horns. Only the male greater kudu will grow any horns. Ah, oh, look over to the left. Laying down on that dirt pile is a black rhino. Now the black rhinos get to be around 3,000 pounds. Now it is a pretty rare sight though. Less than 5,000 of them left in the world. Very heavily poached for their horns. 
There's some greater kudu that are much easier to see. And then up the hill are bongos. Bongos are known as the ghost of the forest as they move very quickly and quietly through the brush. Now a bongo's horns kind of lean back which will actually help them to push them out. We'll get ourselves down there, get a nice look at them. Now the hippo can hold its breath for around eight minutes. Now hippos can sleep underwater. They subconsciously rise up to get a breath and well, they don't even have to wake up. There's the hippos. Several more hippos off there to the left, a whole group of them out that direction. And I kind of see them in the water. Group of hippos called a bloat. There's one right in the corner, starting to come up. Maybe. On the island, pink back pelican. Oh. Those crocodile can get to be around 16 feet long. You see a few out there with their mouths open a bit. They do that try to cool off. Crocodile do release a lot of excess in their mouths. Make sure everybody's still staying seated for me, please, folks. Keep on moving. So next, we're gonna start heading somewhere completely different. So we make our way towards the Serengeti grasslands. Oh, where something might be hiding. We're gonna start looking over to the right. Back behind the bush over there, there's an okapi. Now you may notice the okapi has striped legs that would remind you of a zebra. But they're actually the only living relative of a giraffe. They have a very similar head shape and a pretty long tongue as well. There's the okapi back there. Well, let's make our way down towards the watering hole, see if we can find anything else down here. Now, as we're coming around, look up the hill to the right. Looks like there's a greater kudu up there. Greater kudu, the second tallest species of antelope, and that looks to be a female up there. We can tell that because, well, she doesn't have horns. Only the male greater kudu will grow any horns. Ah, look over to the left, laying down on that dirt pile, is a black rhino. Now the black rhinos get to be around 3,000 pounds. Now it is a pretty rare sight though. Less than 5,000 of them left in the world, very heavily poached for their horn. There's some greater kudu that are much easier to see. And then up the hill are bongos. Bongos are known as the ghost of the forest as they move very quickly and quietly through the brush. Now a bongo's horns kind of lean back, which will actually help them to push them out. We'll get ourselves down there, get a nice look at them. Now the hippo can hold its breath for around eight minutes. Now hippos can sleep underwater. They subconsciously rise up to get a breath and well, they don't even have to wake up. There's the hippos. Several more hippos off there to the left, a whole group of them out that direction. And I kind of see them in the water. Group of hippos called a bloat. There's one right in the corner, starting to come up. 
Maybe. On the island, pink back pelican. Kyle. Those crocodiles can get to be around 16 feet long. You see a few out there with their mouths open a bit, they do that, try to cool off. Crocodiles do release a lot of excess in their mouths. Make sure everybody's still staying seated for me, please, folks. I keep on moving. So next, we're gonna start heading somewhere completely different. So we make our way towards the Serengeti grasslands. That comes around nine months out of the year. They go leafless. That actually is gonna help them to conserve water during the dry seasons. They're also what's called the tree of life. Now that's because they can actually store a lot of water inside of their trunks. So during a drought, an animal like the elephant can actually come along, pierce the trunk, and they get access to the water inside. There's three of them over there. We well, do see a group of giraffe that's called a tower. I think I see a few more out there that are a little easier to see. Some of those. Now look towards the right with those really big horns are Ancoli cattle. They're the only domesticated animal found wandering the reserve. Now those horns can actually get to be around four feet long. Now horns that size you might think would be heavy, but they're actually hollow in south. There's a honeycomb structure of blood vessels in there, and the blood gets pumped up there, and that will actually help them to cool off. If you look carefully, they're all kind of laying down near that tree closest to the rocks. Those are African wild dogs back there. So African wild dogs, or painted dogs, as each and every one of them does have their own unique fur markings and coloration packs. Those little guys are actually some of the most successful hunters found out here on the savannah. Now over to the left, sitting down in the shade, are some sable antelope. The sable antelope is the emblem of the reserve. Now the horns kind of curve towards their back will actually help to protect them. Should any predators try to jump up onto them? Moving. He was running. The funny looking mounds along the road are some termite mounds. Now they get to be about as hard as concrete. Now elephants and rhinos actually like to use them as scratching posts. And once they get worn down or knocked down, the antelope and gazelle stand on. Use them as lookout points to watch out for predators. So as we continue to move ahead, we'll get a better look at the Ancoli cattle. And if you look towards the trees ahead to the left, there's a few more giraffe over there. As you can see, there's a really not much activity from the giraffes. They'll spend most of their day just eating. The giraffe actually only sleep around 30 minutes throughout the day. So there's the Ancoli cattle. Also referred to as Watusi cattle, that's for the tribe that originally domesticated them. He's going to start moving, so, oh, if you stopped, good. If he stopped, we can stop. There he is. You can see the first several that we saw out there on the right side as well. That's going to help to keep them from getting a sunburn. If you take a quick look over to the left on those rocks under the trees are a few of the mandrels. 
And they're the largest species of monkey. Also the lightest in pink color. So if you kind of look through that V-shaped tree, there's kind of sit down right there. Let's see what's going on here. There's a path up ahead. We'll see if we can maybe get a little closer look at that elephant. Yeah, there he is. So the large solitary elephant does generally mean a male. Male elephant separating from the herd was around 13 to 15 years old. They end up going off on their own or they will form bachelor groups as well. Now, even though they do separate from there, they'll still sometimes be found relatively nearby. Well, hopefully this is one of those times. So, let's keep moving and see if we can find some more elephants. Now we're uh, just going to have to make our way across the bridge first though. And, uh, there's a lot of rope holding this thing up, so we're going to take it poly poly. It means very slowly. And we'll see how this goes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, just lean right, lean right. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Now, the uh, only good thing about going through all that is it actually puts us right into this red clay pit. And these are great places to look out for more elephant activity because I like to eat the clay for minerals. You can see there's a lot of tusk marks along the edges. And look over there to the left. There's another elephant covering itself with some mud for that natural sunscreen. And when you see them flapping their ears, they're doing that to try to cool off. Have a lot of blood vessels there behind their heads. They create the little, little air pockets, which will kind of act as their own personal air conditioning. So several of them back towards the baobab tree. There's even a little baby back there. Now the elephants, like many animals out here on the savannah, have been dealing with a lot of habitat loss. And a big factor for the elephants has been farmlands encroaching in on their territory. It's a lot bigger than the black rhino we saw out in the forest. Now they weren't named for a lighter coloration. The Afrikaans word for them was vait, and that means wide. So they have a very wide mouth that helps to make them an excellent grazer. As we continue ahead, we're making our way into the big cat. We are entering into Asia. Here's the tree of life from another angle. They're white sheep gibbons, the black ones are at least. One fossily boy. We are in dinosaur territory, if you haven't guessed. Whoa! Mom! 
Oh, Sue, it's a girl. It's one fossily girl. We are like right near the tree of life. Hold on, I gotta catch up. I just wanted to come on and close out this Animal Kingdom vlog. If you have stuck with me all the way here, thank you so much. I know it was long and it's just a messy vlog and not everything is perfect, but that's kind of the way I vlog. So sorry about that. Um, I also just wanted to say, like, there is so much stuff that I didn't show you guys and I kind of like doing that when I do these vlogs from parks and stuff because I want you guys to be able to explore on your own and discover things that that um, are so interesting to you so I'm never gonna show you 
everything that they have at a park. It would be impossible, number one. And two, I kind of think it just takes some of the fun out of it. So if you end up going to Animal Kingdom and you discover something that I didn't show you, something that you love, snap a pic of it and tag me on Instagram or comment down below. I would love to see what you discover at these places. So I'm going to completely close this out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want more vlogs, let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.